Hi, Chris from Florida Drone Supply, and today we're gonna cover the Teledyne FLIR Cyrus remote control functions and buttons. The Cyrus comes standard with a built-in display remote controller. And while this controller has limited options and abilities, its functions are very important to a safe and successful flight. On the remote, you will see that you have two antennas, left and right, and then moving down across the top, we have the scroll wheels. On the left-hand side, you have the wheel which controls the payload tilt, and the right wheel controls the camera zoom. Moving down to the flight control sticks, the left side, we have the yaw and throttle, and on the right sticks, control the pitch and roll. Both the left and right sticks will also start the aircraft with the down and in motion control on both sticks. For the button and selector switch options, we had the flight mode options of A, P, and S, which we cover in another training video. Next to the flight mode switch, we had the mission on and off switch. And this is a switch if you have a pre-planned mission or flight path already created and stored on the SD card. Below the selector switches, we have the photo capture button, the controller power button, and the return to home button. Moving to the top and the bottom of the controller, we have an HDMI out connection alongside a factory diagnostics port. And on the bottom of the controller, we have the micro SD card slot and the USB-C charging port. You will also see LEDs on the top of the remote. There are two rows of the LEDs, and the top row is for power, pairing, and transmission status, and the bottom row are the battery status LEDs. Thank you for watching this video on the Teledyne FLIR Cyrus Remote Control Overview. If you have any questions, give us a call at 855-8-DRONES or check us out online at floridadronesupply.com. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.